show. My name is Stephen Turner, your host on the Lawyers of Tomorrow podcast. Welcome to this introductory uh, pod where I'd like to really tell you about what I've got planned on the pod and tell you why you might like to carry on listening. First of all, a bit about me. I'm a career law lecturer. I've been lecturing as a freelance lecturer for most of the last 20 years. Uh, I do currently classes with the University of Law teaching subjects on the GDL and the LPC over in here in England. Uh, I teach public companies, equity, finance, tax, business, contract, equity, pretty much anything they ask me to teach, I'm happy to turn my hand to. Um, frankly, for me, teaching is the best job in the world. There are times when I walk out of that classroom and I think, wow, I could do this forever. That was just magical. Magical things happen in a classroom. And whilst I've got other irons in the fire, which I'll no doubt tell you about later on, uh, my technology startup, I don't think I'm ever going to want to have a time in my life when I'm not doing teaching. For me, podcasting is a natural extension of teaching because when I walk into a room and I'm looking at, say, 50 people, or if it's a very large group, maybe 200 it's teaching at scale, really. And I think podcasting is exactly that. The only difference is you don't see the people in front of you, although, of course, you can build in some sort of interaction. But I think that's why I've wanted to start a podcast, because I want to get into a situation where I can do teaching at scale, but also where I can learn from the whole experience. The thing about teaching is sometimes when they say to you, can you teach a new course? You may not know much about it. And then you do your prep over four or five days and you learn an incredible amount. And it's that process during teaching of learning and then teaching, learning more and then teaching that I find so fantastic. So what I'm hoping to do with this podcast is that as I'm interviewing the guests and we're all learning from them, uh, I can then contribute uh, with my knowledge, my questioning. Um, I can get them to look at uh, subjects that uh, the viewers uh, find of interest and I can learn from the whole process uh, at the same time. So let me tell you a bit about the idea that I have for the podcast. When I was researching this topic, I thought to myself, right, what am I going to do a podcast on? And I went out and I looked at the podcasts that I like. For example, Lawyerist, they're fantastic, very funny, often making me laugh. The Legal Toolkit, if you haven't checked them out, they're really great. Lawyer to Lawyer, obviously, they're fantastic. And I was looking at these podcasts and I was thinking, right, I definitely have an interest in technology. I definitely have an interest in innovation, but there are other technology blogs out there. And I don't just want to do a blog on technology. I want to do something which is actually going to be incredibly useful to as many lawyers as possible. So in trying to work out what sort of pod I wanted to do, I spoke to lawyers in law firms, big and small. And I said to them, the one key question I asked them was, what is the single biggest challenge that you are facing. And pretty much every one of them came back with a version of this. They said the single biggest challenge that we're facing is the value add equation or some version uh, of this would come out as, well, it's how do we, how do we uh, justify our existence to clients who are now in many cases, they are questioning the value that we give. For example, I spoke to one lawyer who said he was dealing with uh, a JV and he came up with an agreement for the client and the client had gone out onto the Internet and come back with a very sophisticated, very sophisticated agreement, which had some very good points in it and turned to the lawyer and said, you know, I just I'm just not valuing. I'm just not valuing uh, the work that, that that's being done here. So this is the real problem, I think, that is facing all lawyers. How do we add value in our work for clients when clients have got so many different options out there these days? And we've reached a position uh, where you find that for clients, where they've got a legal problem, Sometimes they don't even know that it's a legal problem, but it, wherever it may well be a legal problem. Whenever they've got a legal problem, clients are not or no longer seeing going to a lawyer as being the default 
solution to the legal problem. And I think lawyers are, are facing something of a, a of a growing, I wouldn't say it's a big crisis right at the moment, but it's turning. And I think it's going to increase uh, where many are living in denial, resisting change, whilst quietly fearing the rise of these alternative or alternative solutions to uh, legal problems, which don't directly involve lawyers. For example, the do-it-yourself solution or automated advice or going to the internet as this chap had done, who is speaking to my lawyer associate, and uh, pulling something off the internet. So I think what I'm interested in doing is really focusing with the Lawyers of Tomorrow podcast on this central issue. How do lawyers add value to clients? And I think it really comes down to taking a a non-legal approach and really adopting the idea that we're in business. We're in the business of solving problems. So it could be business solutions for corporate clients, or it could be people, private clients, they've got their own personal problems. Um, And I think there are many firms out there that are shining lights on this, and they have twigged, they've just got it, they've worked out that the way that you do this, you focus on what the client's business is, and you focus on what the client needs, the value add, So project management, legal project management, for example, sitting down at the end of your project management and probably the best business development tool you can have is when you do the after action review and you say, look, what is it that we got right? What is it that we need to work on? That's one key area that we're going to look at on the Lawyers of Tomorrow podcast. But then you've got innovative models and use of technology. Now, A lot of lawyers feel that there's too much talked about technology and innovation. And to a degree, I can agree if it's a case that the technology and innovation is just being talked about of its own self. So you can speak to many people in tech companies and they would tell you about the wonderful bells and whistles that their software has. But you sometimes are left thinking, but hang on a minute, what's the value add? What does it actually do for the client? So on the Lawyers of Tomorrow podcast, What I'm looking to do is look at innovation and use of new technology where it actually benefits the client. So I think uh, a key way to look at this is to say, if the client would look at that technology or innovative solution and say, yeah, that's what I want to do, then I think we can adopt that technology or innovation. We can say that's definitely in the client's interest. So on the Lawyers of Tomorrow podcast, I'm very much interested in looking at at the technology and the innovation that really benefits our client. And if we ask the key question, if the client knew about the solution, we explain what it does. If they would choose it, then that's what lawyers should be doing if they're going to be adding value. So on the Lawyers of Tomorrow podcast, what I'm planning to do is interview those visionaries who are already working to build a shining new legal sector that delivers affordable, easily accessible, easy to use legal products and services that give people what they really need. So give the business solutions, give the personal solutions. Now, I have to uh, say also that what I've got going, I've got a little bit of an iron in the fire as far as legal tech is going. I don't just want to be uh, speaking to people about legal tech and innovation and so forth. I want to be getting my hands dirty and actually getting there and doing it. So I've got a little uh, legal tech startup, very early stage of development. But essentially what it's looking at is bolting on uh, some sort of automated advice system, which any law firm, you could bolt it onto a website, which any law firm can bolt onto that. And it's about how we leverage that automated advice system to provide value to clients. So as I'm going through the legal tech work and I'm learning, what I want to do is I want to bring that learning over into the pod and I'll speak to other experts who are working in the same area. And I want to be able to deliver that knowledge uh, to all my listeners so that they will benefit from it as well. Um, as far as the demographic as to people who might be interested in my pod, well, I think 
it could be anyone really who has got an interest in the key question of adding value. And I don't really think that there's any age barrier here. Um, I think students would be very much interested this in this because you've got innovation and the, the rise of uh, new technology is very much something that I think the pioneering uh, law schools like Vanderbilt, Georgetown, um, Miami, and Bocerius in Germany, those law schools are focusing on technology. So it's something that could definitely be of interest to law students. And then, of course, you've got managing partners. They're always looking at the scenario of where we have to try and add value for our clients. But I think it could be of interest to any lawyer who is looking at this central question. And I think the the issue of adding value is something that small law firms, medium sized law firms, and even, even if you go way up to the big sized law firms, right up to the to the big city firms, we're all facing the same central issue, which is the value add. So I think really what qualifies people to listen to this pod is you just got to have an open mind and uh, look to, to try and do the best for your clients. I think, well, who is this pod definitely not for? I would say anybody who thinks, well, yep, yeah, the legal profession is different. We are different and we are somehow immune to this. I think this whole paternalistic idea of lawyers know best. We can keep our, our legal profession uh as it always has been. I think even though the profession has been slow to change, I think that that's, that's on the way out. That's changing. So uh, I think I would describe this pod definitely as an innovative pod. We're going to be looking at innovation, new technology, new business models, new ways of thinking uh, that really help us deliver value to our clients. And increasingly, if we use that innovation, new technology, new ideas, new models, we can do it at scale. And I think that is the big, big challenge to try and get us to a point where we can start to, to deliver this value to people who at the moment are not consuming lawyers. And I think that's an increasing group of people because, because I think they're just, they're too expensive. And as I've said earlier, I think it's a, it's an issue that uh, lawyers are not automatically seen as being necessary these days. In fact, I was speaking to someone over the other day and they said, oh, lawyers, they're a last resort. Well, the thing is, lawyers, we're pretty useful. There's a, such a huge amount of information and uh, knowledge we've got out there. So I think for a situation where we're being seen as the as a last resort, well, something's got to change there. So that's what I'm aiming to do on the pod. Uh, I hope you're going to listen and uh, feel free it, if at any point during this podcasting journey of mine, I'm not doing what I said I would do. If I'm not focusing on things that can immediately add value for lawyers, then do let me know. You can get in touch with me at Stephen, spelt with a PH, Stephen at lawyersoftomorrow.com. You can also find me on Twitter. Uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, all the socials. I'll put links in the uh, notes to this pod. And um, let's, let's do this. Let's go out there and, and harness the new, harness the innovation and uh, achieve for our clients the best we can. That's the idea behind this pod. Okay, take care. Thanks very much for listening. Bye-bye.